Hey kids, welcome back to Learn with Maktum. In this video, we are going to see first standard mathematics next chapter that is mental arithmetic. So in this video, we are going to see how to add the single digits mentally. So we have already saw addition using our fingers and using lines. So today we are going to think and add the digits. Okay. So starting with the first problem here, consider an example of fruit. Okay. Say you have three fruits with you. Consider particularly like apples. Okay. So consider you have three apples with you and someone comes to you and give you two more fruits. Now, how many apples do you have? I hope the question is clear. You have three apples earlier. Then someone comes and give you two more. So just think. Three you were having. After three, you got two. That is four, five. So now you have five apples with you. Yes, correct. Okay. One more example you can consider like you were having four chocolates with you. You were having four chocolates with you out of which you eat two chocolates. You eat two chocolates. Now, how many chocolates you have left with? So I was having four chocolates and I ate two means three, two means I left out with two chocolates. Yes or no? After four, three, we have two. Yes or no? Let's see a different type of problem now. Find the next number so now i'm going to give you a series of number for example say 2 4 6 8 find the next number so here which number i should write so here the numbers are arranged in a pattern what is that pattern let's see so firstly which number is written so write it down. So now after 2, 3, which number is there? 4 is written. Yes or no? So to get 4, how many numbers I should add or subtract to 2? I should add 2 here. Yes? Okay. The same way. Next number is what? After 4, 5, he has written 6. Yes, the same way, what should I do? Whether I should add or subtract how many numbers to 4 to get 6? I should add 2 here. Yes or no? Then continuing after 6, 7, we have 8. That is written here, yes? So what should I do? I should add 2 more to 6 to get 8. Yes or no? Yes. Now you can see the pattern. What is the pattern here? Each number, for each number we are adding 2 to get the next number. Yes or no? The same way, what I should do here? I should add 2 to number 8. That answer which I am going to get, that will be the next number. Yes or no? So add, after 8, 9, we will get... 10 yes so 10 will be the answer clear with this kids i hope no confusion okay let's take one more small example say 5 10 15 what will be the next number so here in this problem the first number is 5 so to get 10 what should i do with 5 whether I should add some number or whether I should subtract from it. What should I do to get 10? So, after 5, 
सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन हाउ मेनी नंबर्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो टू गेट टेन आई हैव टू एड फाइव टू द फाइव सेम वे टू गेट फिफ्टीन आई शुड एड फाइव टू टेन देन which number will come if i add 5 to the 15 so let's see after 15 16 17 18 19 20 which number will come 20 so that will be the answer clear with this i hope i am clear with this so each number for each number we are going to add with a number that number we can find out in this way clear with that okay yes kids here you can see at the center there is a number and around this we have numbers so the thing is that we have to add this center number to the outside numbers okay i can do for these two the remaining three you can do yes so 2 plus 3 what will be the answer 2 3 4 After this, what you are going to get is the five. Okay, so for two, I am adding three. You will get five. Yes or no? So you can write like two plus three equals to five. The same way you can write like three plus three equals to after three, four, five, six. Yes. So. Six is the answer. Clear with that. So I hope you will get you will do these three, or else you can simply write down this and calculate and tell me the answer. Four plus three after four, five, six, seven. So the answer is seven. Then five plus three. Five plus three will be after five, six, seven, eight. So that will be the answer. Then, okay. Lastly, the six plus three. After six, seven, eight, nine. So that will be the answer. Nine. Clear with this? Okay. Yes, kids. Here the type of problem is to add. Okay. So here we are going to use our mind to do addition. We have already done with the help of fingers and lines. So let's do it. Five plus three, yes. So after five, how many numbers I should take? Three numbers. So after five, six, seven, eight, yes. So the answer is eight. It is easy, no? Then four plus two. So after four, how many numbers I should take? Two. After four, five, six. The answer is six. Easy. Then six plus four. So after six, how many numbers I should take? Four. So after six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Yes. I have finished three problems like this in the textbook. There are so many problems for this. I hope you will go and practice it out. Okay. Yes, kids. So let's see these two problems. One shelf has five books. and another has four books there are dash books in both shelves so there are two shelves okay so in one shelf you have five books and another you have four books so in both the shelves how many books you have so here five and four after five four we should count yes So after five, six, seven, eight, nine. So totally there are nine books in both shelves. So next problem: Suma collects five rupees from her father and ten from her mother. Okay, so she collects five rupees from her father and ten rupees from her mother. How much money did Suma collect from her parents? Parents means combinedly they are asking. So 
So when I say combine, you have to add. So which is the bigger number? 10 is the bigger number. So to the 10, I have to add 5. So after 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So she is having totally 15 rupees. Clear with this kids? Yes kids, the last part now. So I am going to read out the question from the textbook and I will tell the answer on the board. Okay, so the question is like a fruit vendor has nine mangoes. A fruit vendor is having nine mangoes and eight apples. He is having eight apples also in a fruit basket. So in a fruit basket, he is having nine mangoes and eight apples. So the question is how many fruits are there in the basket? So both are fruits yes so nine mangoes eight apples both are fruits so you have to tell me total how many number of fruits are there in the basket yes okay to the number nine you have to consider eight more yes or no so after nine you have 10 11 12 13 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes, hope you got it. So there are totally 17 fruits in the basket. Okay. And the second question here. Raju has kept 7 books in the school bag. So Raju, he is having 7 books in the school bag. And six books in the shelf so he's having six more books on shelf so these are there on shelf and these are there in school bag yes seven books in the school bag and six books in the shelf how many books are there all together so combiningly how many books are there totally so i hope you will do this after seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So totally we have 13 books. That is all together. Clear with this? Okay. So there are 3 more problems. I will do one more. And the remaining 2 will be homework for you people. Okay. A balloon seller is holding three balloons in the right hand so there's a balloon seller this fellow is having three balloons on right hand then six balloons in his left hand six balloons in his left hand so they're asking how many balloons are there in all so totally how many balloons are there number three plus six after 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So totally 9 balloons we have. So clear with this kids? I hope these problems are easy. And the remaining whatever the textbook problems are there. I hope you are going to solve them. Practice them. Okay. If you are not getting this, you can either use the lines or the finger method. Okay. So this is all about mental arithmetic. I hope you like and share my videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.